guys, uh, this is uh, Merrick from Dota 2 Addicts. As I promised you, I said I will give you a lot of tutorials, starting from the hotkeys to the how to play, uh, how to play your rule as a core support or room, rooming uh, or met or even a flame. So, as today, I will start from the scratch and you will learn everything. So, let's start from the settings. A lot of people actually asking me about the settings. Ma, what is quick cast? what is the hotkeys and what is my hotkeys so I will show you what is my hotkeys and let's talk about the first thing is the ability you can use the legacy keys if you are familiar with Dota 1 and you played Dota 1 you can use them but it's hard to play that uh, to play use, using it with the invoker or whatever so I don't recommend you to use the legacy keys or do whatever you want but that's my recommendation so let's jump to the abilities uh, we have the hero everything here is default Q W E D F R. everything is default even with the neutrals and the courier I didn't change anything here so what I change is the quick cast here the quick cast I have alt Q alt W the same thing with the cast but I did add alt uh, what is the quick cast? That's a really good question. The quick cast is, let's say they are, that you are playing Puck and you want to cast your dream core. Dream core is your ult. So you want to cast ult. If you are casting it with using the normal cast, uh, you need to press on uh, R, then it will show you the aura, and that's actually good for some uh, heroes. And you can just uh, left click. But with quick cast, you need to only press on R to just to cast it. You don't need use a lot of left click keys. Uh, you, m I mean mouse. So actually, a lot of people uh, rather to use quick cast or just use a left click, left click, left click uh, to just keep that uh, usability. And that's really annoying. And actually, it's annoying for me. Sometimes I use the normal cast. Sometimes I use the quick cast. But a lot of time I use quick cast. So try to get used to it. Uh, let's jump to the ability learn. If you have ability, like let's say you were level three and you jump to level four, and you wanna, uh, you you wanna apply your ability on one of the uh, like Q, W, or even stats, uh, you need to press on all. This is by default actually, and you can change it to whatever you want. I have it O. Uh, I didn't change it. I used to have it as a G, but I changed it actually. So you can press on you, then you can upgrade the stats by using you, or uh, I mean. I'm sorry, press on O, then you can upgrade the stats by using U, or you can even uh, up upgrade the abilities by uh, clicking on like Q, W, E, or R, whatever you want. So, uh, the unit actions here, uh, actually I didn't change anything except the taunt item. The taunt is, like let's say, let's say you have tied and you bought the item that makes the swimming move, and you want to use it you you need to use a use it for a key you need to set up a key for it for uh, before you can use it so that's my key actually it's uh I, i'm not gonna explain it for you where, where it's my key so use any key for it uh the important thing is now let's talk it's the item let's talk about the items uh, my items i'm using naga mouse 2014 it's one four two three seven i have actually a lot of numbers i have until 12 but there's no 12 so there's like uh, what? Uh, equal, yeah, it's equal. So, uh, just use whatever you want here. If you have a keyboard, uh, you can use one, two, three. That's very familiar. Everyone, a lot of people actually use one, two, three. And if you are using this add, uh, this other mouse, you can use uh, here two buttons that that this other has. It. So that's the normal cast. The quick cast, I use only uh, four hot keys. I use alt with them, just as here. Uh, I don't need a lot of hotkeys. I just need to use all because I don't want to use the whole keyboard when I can when I play, and that's really annoying. Uh, so here and the items, let's say I will show you the difference between the cast and the quick cast. Let's say that you have a an eye, uh, you have a blink dagger and you want to cast a blink dagger. So usually you click. Let's say I have it on one. I press on one, then I use my left click uh, on the mouse. To blink here, like let's say my hero is here, I want to blink here, and I just use my left mouse to blink here. One, then left mouse. Uh, when when it, when it comes to quick cast, that's not gonna happen. Uh, you just need if you hero is here, and I just my mouse is here, my mouse point is here, and I just w click on one, my hero will blink here. So 
so that's actually a really good thing you know, if you are playing uh, if you are, if you are uh, 4k 5k or 6k all of them use them quick cast and that's really good for you uh, uh, you have the shop I use T to open the shop I don't I don't need to every time to just press on the shop and it, when you press when you are near to the shop and press T it will just uh, automatically open uh, you have the buy uh, quick buy uh, buy items the precious quick buy I use B I'm I'm used to CSGO so I really actually like B and it makes sense like B buy <laughs> so uh, you have the sticky hair uh, I think I have it. yeah uh, you can purchase the sticky by uh, clicking on my mouse uh, equal or whatever the hockey you have take this uh, take stash uh, items you can take uh, an item from the stash by clicking on this uh, hockey or change any hockey you want so uh, if I have if I'm playing like I think and I have my item on the stash I can just uh, use my, the hockey so I can take the item from the stash. I don't need like to bring the the item every time here, and that's really stupid. So you need to get used to that. Uh, let's move to the chart. Everything in the camera. Actually, I didn't move any. I didn't change anything. It's normal. Let's move to the chart. I changed actually the chart wheel. I'm really uh, uh, I'm really actually lazy. I don't write that much. I either talk or just say good game or whatever. So uh, that's what I have. I have good game. I'll play it. Missing careful. Uh, all enemy heroes missing. Uh, we need wards, baits, requests, gank. Actually, I didn't use careful that much. You can say space created. Which space created? Uh, items, lanes, enemy. Actually, dive is good. <laughs> uh, let's change it to anything, but I won't change it. Mm, building mechanism, <laughs> that's good. A wall top, that pull, ocean. A play that just happened actually like this. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's really or yeah, let's say it's created. So, uh, that's the chat wheel. You have to press on Y then. You can move the wheel to whatever you want, to any place you want, so you can have the good game, we'll play it missing, space grid or whatever. Sorry I changed it up by mistake. So uh chart a chart is written, the enter bo button, uh, chat to all is I believe it's shift and enter. Uh, chat wheel as I said, uh, the voice here, I have voice team only, G. Because I don't talk in the party, I have uh, I have team speak so I don't use that much. You need if you are playing with your friends, like let's say two two of your friends, you gotta use TeamSpeak so you don't bother the other players and so th they don't mute you actually. Uh, uh, let's move to the player actions. Uh, active <laughs> activate the glyph. The glyph is the yellow thingy that mo uh, moves around the towers or your buildings in general, and uh, it will allow you to protect yourself for a few seconds. And uh, you can use it by press J or change it scoreboard uh, the scoreboard is here like uh, I will show you the scoreboard later <laughs> now I have if now if now pulls uh, screenshot uh, the console everyone using actually the, sl the slash so you can change it whatever you want control groups the control groups is this is the important thing if you are playing Meepo or you are playing Chen you need to pay uh, attention here uh, let, let's say I'm playing Meepo and um, I have my Mi Meepo on F1 here this is F1 right so I have my meme. I want to change to the other meepo. Uh, I can play. Uh, I can just click on the tab bar, and it will change to that meepo. But let's say if I wanna use a group, like I have, I wanna set a control for every two meepos. Uh, actually, you can see I change the numbers. So I will just change it here, and then I will return later. Uh, I will. Do it, but uh, do it later. So uh, I will play Meepo after a while, and I will show you how to do it. So I just have any buttons here that you can use it. You can easily reach with your hands or your mouse. And if you are playing Meepo, every time you play Meepo, you need to change the settings actually. So that's my advice for you. So let's jump to the options. I have game here, auto attack. It's off because if you are real nearby the enemy, you just hit them. 
especially if you are trying to run and that's really really expose your place and uh, that's really bad you don't use that I use auto attack after spell if I'm playing tiny I want I, I want to use my combo avalanche toss uh, and you want to hit him after it you just automatically hit him auto process item don't ever use that because you won't have buyback now forever or uh, also select summon unit no uh, double tap ability to self cast no in fact unit no uh, yes I mean uh, to let's talk about this if I'm playing Meepo and I want to control all the Meepos I don't need to set a group key for that I can just hold the control bar and just move around the map and I will show you that uh, in a second in a few seconds so let's move to the teleport to Christ's top. Actually, I'm one of the guys that really fuck up the TPs. So let's say um, I want to TP mid, and you moved by mistake. You you are playing invoke and you pressed on E by a mistake, or you just pressed E because you felt like you want to press it. Uh, that would cancel your TP. But now you can you cannot cancel it unless you want to stop it. You can uh, hit on S, which is the stop here. So to stop the TP, that's really good. Uh, no, hold on all to highlight heroes and use that. Show player name, hit point, allow use hotkeys. Shop allows the hotkeys. I not really use that because the hotkeys on the shop is really stupid, and you will see that it doesn't make any sense. I think I believe you can change it, but I never tried. Use the broadcast. The broadcast is here. Use the broadca uh, broadcaster sta uh, stats. So let's move the minimap. Minimap. I only have show hero icon on minimap with alt. I, when I whenever I use alt, I can see the heroes here, the icons. So you can use that, or you can just minimap alt always on the he on the minimap, so you can see the the heroes are always here. But I don't like that. The camera. I have only each uh, each pan, and uh, the camera color shift when dead. I'm not using able sh uh, screen shake. That's really gonna mess shit up. It's gonna shake your screen a little bit. But uh, I I move camera on the spawn. That's this is really the baddest option that you can ever click on. Uh, let's say that you, you're watching your friends fighting and you're dead and you just wanna respawn and you wanna keep like you wanna TP mid and you wanna just check the fight and to see where you wanna blink or whatever you want. Uh, this is this option will move to the, to your hero like from the fight to your hero that's really bad I don't want I don't like that I really hate that so I don't wanna I don't, I don't use that so if you wanna click on it do whatever you want guys uh, the camera speed uh, you don't need <laughs> you, you, this is when it comes to casting you need to use that but otherwise don't bother profile whatever you want here uh, network I use the display network information uh, of course he's high of course I can see my ping here uh, this place uh, see message blah 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 you can read this and click on whatever you want this is not this is not important so the video is I have it here normal uh, audio master volume is really annoying so I had to increase that decrease that and game song decreased I decrease the music decrease the voice especially the inner speech when you play Skyrath Mage, you, know, you have Skyrath Mage and you want to say this is in the bag, that's really a long sentence. <laughs> so just ignore that. And it's really annoying for me. So, anyway, let's uh, create a lobby and I will show you how to use the quick cast. No. So, now you learn how to use a quick cast. Uh, sometimes you will get used. Uh, this is useful actually when you read it after you have chosen. Oh, Whatever, I forget it later. So I will be playing Meepo. Wait, they were here just a moment ago. Where did everyone uh, I will use the cheat here. We'll be playing all pick. Uh, level up 25. Ah, uh, now I said before the ability, learn ability the is you can't. The normal thing is you like level up and well, use I mean, that. But for me, I use O and uh, just spam at everyone. Or uh, uh, and you can use the other year to upgrade the stats. So that's my Meepo. Uh, I'm gonna have some gold. Uh, so I can buy the Blink Dagger and just put Blink a, a boost of shovel. So that's my... that. So now let me explain more about the Blink Dagger. Uh, the Quick Cast and the uh, Normal Cast. This is Normal Cast. We want a Blink Dagger here. That's Normal Cast. 
wanna TP here? Wait, sorry. No, actually, this is the control group. Thirty seconds mm. until digital. Stops. You wanna you wanna TP here? So you have to click on space, then left click. Pop and quick cast. That's not gonna happen. Like, I wanna blink here, okay? I use my alt and one here. I didn't use anything. Just alt and used one here. So that's really useful. That's what you need to do. So uh, let me, let's sum up the other meepos. Uh, it's time for fantasy. So I told you about the control. When you hold control and move, holding control, you will move all the meepo. When you when you leave the control, uh, that's not gonna happen. Like check, I'm using one meepo. Control move all the meepos. That's really that's really useful. And uh, you need that actually when you play meepo chen or whatever. Uh, even visage. So uh, I want to set the control group. Uh, when you ever press F1, this is my hero. I want to press F1. This is my hero. But let's say I want. I don't want to. Every time I want to check all my meepos, I don't want to like go on mini map. Oh, I have two meepos. Move them here. And I want to have one meepo. That's really bad. So you need to do a group uh, key for it. Uh, let's ch let's take two more meepos. How to do that? It's pretty simple. You just Click on these meepos, uh, hold control, then I think, let me check. My stance is 4, right? 4 and 7. Uh, this is, let's say this is 4. So hold them, hold control, then press 4. And now you can yep. see, you can, this is F1, this is 4. When I hit 4 twice, I will okay. control my other meepos. So this is good really for farming and uh, for so many stuff. Those. And this is the other meepo, let's say 7. So that's 7. Yep. So when you when you control Mipu, that's really uh, useful, and you need to do that. You need, you need to learn a lot of stuff uh, when you play Mipu. So you can play so many public matches. So you can control the other Mipus, and I'm not saying I'm good with Mipus. I'm really bad with Mipu, uh, but uh, I'm doing my best. So guys, this is everything that has to do with the quick cast. Uh, I told you about the T. When you are quick to the items here with the shop, you press T to show the shop. I wanna uh, buy the sticky, uh, the TP. Here, this is the TP for me. And mm, what else? <laughs> uh, let's say I have an item here. I want. I have this item, my sash. Uh, on my, uh, on my. This is a quick buy. When you press on B, you can buy it. You don't need to press on it here. Or you have like orchid. Mm. This is orchid. So just B and it will buy it from here. So that's everything, guys. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I hope it's uh, it was like really good. Uh, I will, uh, if you have anything uh, to say for me, I to get better, I can. Uh, you can write it on YouTube on the bottom replace. So please guys subscribe and uh, so I can do more tutorials for you guys. So this is uh, Mary from Dirt to Alex. So see you later guys and thank you for watching.